Hey guys, it's Zegs here. Um, today I'm going to be showing you the uh, latest update to a game called Sea of Thieves. For those of you who don't know what Sea of Thieves is, it's a pirate PvP game where you can do uh, pirate things like stealing loot, um, attacking other ships, and other stuff like that. On November 22nd of 2022, uh, Season 8 was released. This update in particular brought a new uh, PvP on-demand system which I'll be showcasing today. Um, the way this new system works is that you uh, vote yourself into a matchmaking pool and the game uh, chooses an opponent for you based on your skills and abilities. I also recorded myself during the fight so you can see my uh, live reactions to what's going on. Just a few disclaimers before we start. There might be some offensive language. Also, uh, my stupid self uh, screwed up the recording during the fights. To compensate, I had to use audio from my phone, so I... Uh, Apologize for that. Without further ado, I present to you Sea of Thieves Season 8. The PvP meta in Sea of Thieves is as follows. You get on your opponent's ship, you kill them, anger them, then your crewmates on your ship deal as much damage as possible as you stop your opponents from repairing their ship. I'm actually going to go for an early board. Why? Why am I gonna need fire? No! Wow, I suck. Wow, I suck even more. The purpose of anchoring your opponent's ship, like I mentioned before, is to temporarily immobilize them and to give my teammates Hello. time to uh, get better shots with their cannons. That's not out of range. One of those this has got to hit. Oh, please, please, please. Please, please, please. Oh. That was actually close. I'm surprised. Nice. During the first part of this battle, I was doing what is known as double gunning, which means I had guns in both of my weapon slots rather than the typical sword and gun. Due to the other crew's lack of skill, I decided to later to go back to gun and sword because double gunning can be quite challenging with people who have swords. We need more holes. I know. That again. You getting holes? Yep, you got one hole. Bro, they take off. Oh no, I'm I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Alright. That battle went by fast, partly because the other crew had no situational awareness. Our second battle, however, took nearly 25 minutes because of a glitch the other crew is doing. Play close attention to the guy that I shoot in the back of the head. I don't what? like cheaters. Do I now? Huh? Huh? I don't like them. I don't like them. At the time of recording, there was a glitch in the game where you basically became invincible and no one could kill you. We um, reported this guy after after the fight was finished because while it is a known glitch in, and the developers were busy patching it. The other crew was using it to their advantage. Uh, here is how we finally sank them. They sent a border. Two borders, two borders. They sent two borders. Another thing I should point out is that communication is key during these kinds of battles. It's always important to talk with your teammates because in a game like Sea of Thieves, one misstep can leave your ship sinking. Nice. Hey, 
you doing? I think I just hit their mast again. One's dead. Bye-bye. You fucking aren't you. They sunk, they sunk! Oh my yes. god! Let's go! Let's go! We ended the night with four ships sunk, three while matchmaking, and one we found in open seas. It was a pretty good night. The only downside was when we had to fight the crew with the glitcher on it. I hope you enjoyed this little snippet into what Sea of Thieves is. Um, I highly recommend the game, especially if you like PvP or pirate stuff. Thanks for watching, and Ziggs out. Whoa, 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 whoa. It would not be a Sea of Thieves video without animal abuse. Sorry, Mr. Fogarty. Side of the area. Yeah. Um, we're back. the IRS. We need your money. Where is the apples this time? The ship there? No. <laughs> oh. Yes. Maybe, yes. Look how far I am. <laughs>